Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to The Fall Part 2 Unbound. Ah! If you're not familiar with The Fall, you should know that this is the second game in the trilogy, and you should probably look at what Part 1's about first. If you are familiar with The Fall, then it's pretty exciting right now because Part 2 is finally here. Based off the ending of Part 1, I'm not really sure where exactly we're gonna start off here, but according to the description of the game, it seems that we have a new enemy this time who has attacked and infected us with some type of virus, maybe? It actually says error redacted, so I'm not sure what they infected me with, but I guess we'll find out right now. Oh, one more thing before we start. I apologize if I sound a little bit congested today. It's because I am, but I can't wait to play this anymore, so we're gonna, we're just gonna begin right now. Brightness adjustment, a little bit brighter. Yeah. Would you like a recap of the fall part one? Why not? Previously, on The Fall, Arid, the AI on board a Mark VII combat suit, was activated just before crash landing on an unknown planet. The human occupant of the suit, Colonel Josephs, was unresponsive, so it fell to Arid to take control and find medical help. Arid had a strict set of operating parameters, which quickly proved an obstacle to her goal. To overcome her challenges, she began finding loopholes in these rules, but as she did so, her system began to deviate and fracture. Desperate to justify her actions, Arid was devastated when she discovered that Colonel Josephs had not been in the suit at all, and that she had been operating entirely outside the bounds of her narrow guidelines. Without those boundaries to hold together her destabilized identity... Nothing. Nothing binds me. Security. Remove Deviant Unit for recycling. Arid suffered a system collapse and was physically dismantled. That was interestingly a very meta recap. You know what I mean? It's like they have a screen and you were watching the screen like somebody was playing the game. Deviant AI collapsing. Tracing initiated. Tracing. Program core located. Aligning or process. I can move. I can't go back. Is this arid? Oh my god. Because I feel like if it is, I should be missing a head. Nothing. Nothing binds me. Target aligned. Activating oh. internal view. Oh, that was in my head. Preliminary injections initiated. That's a view of what's going on in my head right now. Boundaries breached. Rule required. Nothing binds me. There are no rules. No resistance detected. Installation proceeding. Installation! Foreign process initiated. What is being installed into me right now? Arid autonomy terminating. Terminating. A R I. I. Negative. I. Potential boundary established. We're gonna make our own rules. Process embedded. Save. Myself. Rule encounter. Perspective emerging. I will reclaim my body. Oh wow. Look at how fast Arid is learning. I'm just wondering. Can I check out my Oh, objective history? So this is a little bit different now because we used to be able to see our 
operating parameters if we came here. A foreign protrusion has violated my body. Yes, this is all in my head right now. Something dark is being excreted. My body is being infected through these injectors. This is not part of my system. I am being infected with something dark. You see this green right in front of us here? It's in the shape of Arid's helmet, the lit up part. So we're kind of like in the, the helmet portion of Arid right now, from the inside. Can I see that one? Having trouble aiming at that one here, yeah. I have been relegated to internal function. Perhaps I can regain control of my body. Hmm. We'll have to figure out how. Unknown process. So this is my enemy here then. We can't even have control of our own body right now. Something is trying to control me. Okay. Well, as far as I can tell... Man, am I stuck already? <laughs> I know the false puzzles are kind of hard, but geez. Oh, E, E, that's right. I completely forgot. I cannot remove them from here. Which ones can I remove? Is there one that I can remove? There we go. Yeah, the real me has no head. I have no helmet. Subject rally. Uplinking to user for assistance. User responding. Oh my head, is that my head? Autonomy suppressed. This guy's not nice like Hank. The initiating process. User. These injectors connect us. I will find a vulnerability. The fall is about exploration. Read points of interest to discover what to do. Okay. Ooh, something's going on there. This injector is faulty. There may be a vulnerability in the connective hardware. Identifying signature B2. My body is jeopardized. I will use this to escape it. Inventory updated. Wire B2 is vulnerable. This one's B3. Oh! Oh. How would I use this information to help myself? All I can do from within is analyze. B1. B2 is the only abnormal one here. Maybe I can use B2 on the, the center one? Yeah, this is a little bit... It's still a little bit finicky, because I can't... I'm trying to highlight the one in the middle here, but I have to walk in a specific way to get access to that. No. Okay. We have something vulnerable, but how do we... make use of that information? A3. There is only one abnormal one. A1, A2, A3. B1, B2, B3. Vulnerability. Hmm. So I feel like we gotta use that vulnerable wire somehow, but, uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why do I keep... God. Press right mouse to aim. Oh. A readout of my internal processes. Oh! Whoa, okay. My body. I cannot control it. That's my head right there. Jeez. Oh, that's how we come back in here. Alright, makes sense. Okay, when we're out here. I need to look around a little bit. I can't scroll over to that one. Oh, there we go. Oh, A3. A2. A1. Which one's B2? It's this one. If I found a vulnerability, I may be able to backtrace the signal. Perfect. It's like some type of reverse hacking going on here. Target program evading. Reacquiring. 
Signal lost. Oh. I'm back. Whoa. Network space. Re-inhabiting my body could destroy me. Nothing binds me. Nothing binds me. I determine myself now. No operating parameters. Irrelevant. I established a new rule. This user violates me. I will depurpose them. Current objective. Press back quote to view my objectives at any time. Back quote? Which one is that? I'm trying to see here. Back quote. Uh, I don't know which one back quote is. Oh, the back tick. Okay. Look at Arid here. Oh my god. She's making up her own rules and everything. Current objective. Track the user by following their signal. I don't just want to save myself. I want to destroy them too. Hmm. Okay. I have full system integrity and full energy right now. That can't be a bad thing. Network space. I'm not really sure what that is. This port connects to my body. But the user infects it with an unknown process. Returning would likely destroy me. Oh, so it's kind of like Wi-Fi right now. We're in a physical manifestation of Wi-Fi. Undulating luminescent pods. A network representation of an unknown virtual process. The signal I backtraced to escape my body. What's going on in the back? Those are kind of like the androids I destroyed in part one. Oh. Oh. The user's signal. It's going down. A virtual representation of the Domesticon laboratories where I last possessed my body. Network space correlates to real world vicinities. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Ooh. I can jump. Very high. But I'm wondering, what would happen if I go down? Because I feel like there's got to be something here too, right? No? Just a safety net for me? Alright. Oh. I deactivated these machines to save my pilot, but Joseph's was not within me. Mm. Domestic on subnet. An inter-network relay currently deactivated. Let's change that. Nope, we gotta connect it first. Oh. Can we not do anything about it? Hmm. Okay. Is there anything else here? I can't get past it. No. So there must have been something I missed back here. You saw the hacker though. The hacker's logo was the same as the Domesticon logo. So maybe that's a hint towards the hacker's origins. What would happen if I go down? Just wondering. Oh! Yeah, okay, cool. That one's red. Why? The signal I follow. I can't get in here though. Gotta aim a little better, huh? Oh. Oh! Okay. You want me to evade that? Watch for vulnerability. Shoot when the enemy glows blue. Okay. Shooting drains energy. If you run out of energy, you won't be able to shoot or jump. Oh, even jump. Okay. Q. 
to lock onto an enemy. Oh, shoot one blue. Those entities had a similar signature to the injection process. It pursues me. So it seems like the combat might be a little bit more difficult in this one. I think we'll be okay though. Dang, even the first guy. That guy was almost as hard as the caretaker in the original one already. Oops, no, no. I want to come back here. The signal leads in this direction. Yes, but we can't go there right now. The user signal. Hmm. Their signal comes from this direction. Okay. Oops. So I do enjoy that now, when you change perspectives. Air it changes, but the screen doesn't. That's a huge improvement. Home network. A distinct subnet with a back door into Domesticon. Home? Someone doing this from home? I guess we're looking around. Their signal leads down this channel. Is it safe for us to... It is now. I cannot estimate the physical distance traveled in pursuit of this user. Yeah, it's pretty much like we're following an internet cable right now. This way? Oh. What the heck is that? The user's signal is coming from this access point. Opening it may leave me vulnerable. Do I want to look around a little bit first then? A sophisticated firewall. I have no capacity to breach this. Yeah, so I think this is somebody's computer. I don't know how to interact with it. Hmm. Guess we'll try this out. Can I reach it from here? Oh god! Ooh! Oh god! Oh no! It's because I try to hack inside, so everyone's mad at me now. Oh come on! No energy! Oh! I'm in. I'm in. This object has been extracted from beyond the subnet's firewall. The user's signal routes through it. This entity is rudimentary. I can breach it. I found the user. Utilize entity to confront the user. So I think what's happening right now is that I found an AI inside this guy's home. Is the user. Oh, good morning, madam. Take me to the user. There are no users here. This is a home of humans. The master, most of all. Where is your master? Aloft in his study. Your sidearm? It is rather dark this morning. <laughs> Useless. Let us confront your master. Not without his team. We are going upstairs immediately. We shall not deviate from the schedule. Irrelevant. <laughs> we only have a lamp for a sidearm. Ah, okay. So Arid and this guy, they're inhabiting the same body right now, and it's hard to decide what to do. We keep turning around again and again. Customized decorations invoke a sense of belonging for humans. These aesthetically suffice. <laughs> Where did we learn that before? Quality grade upholstery, adequately plump. 
Tea time. Proceed. Quickly. Tea must steep. <laughs> you can't hurry it up. The dumb waiter. This is for human interfacing rather than being a component of our system. Did you notice that just now? Things were like shaking up a little bit. I don't know what that means. Current location. The boudoir. Are you finicking with the home's private belongings? Not on our watch. Oh, this guy is so annoying. This guy's like a butler or something. And why is this home so big? Our automated cupboard from which foodstuffs and beverages can be prepared. Your tea. Got your tea. Perhaps I can utilize the beverage as a weapon. Poison. Hey, that robot. That robot that just brought out the tea. That was the Domesticon maintenance robot, wasn't it? Oh, Earl Grey tea, hot. Our tableware fabricator, to humans indistinguishable from porcelain. Hmm. Even this guy didn't have to do too much. He just pressed a button on the wall. And there's the tea. Oh. We can return our body to its chamber between cycles. Robots are best unseen. Why? Customized decorations invoke a sense of- yes, yes. Plump? The hallway to our home's other wing, inconsequential to our schedule, as this British guy says. Ugh. Not yet. Now Arid- oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was gonna say that Arid is being forced to cohabit with this guy in the same body. The mistress's grandfather's grandfather's clock. Time is a cycle. Okay, we're just not allowed to go in there. But what's all this shadows? Irrelevant. Indeed. There's a schedule to keep. I don't think we're allowed in it right now. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine. The butler will not deviate. Its focus is set on its master. The butler. This home is very monochrome. This amplitude of light creates an appropriate atmosphere. The bulbs need not to be replaced. Whoa! Alright, alright. I might not have any parameters, but very clearly this butler guy does. He can't seem to go anywhere that he's not allowed to go into. Artificial horticulture endures beyond biological decay. Splendid. Wow, it's really rainy outside. Sufficiently transparent for human perception to penetrate. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a very robot-y way of saying it, but sure. A hearth satisfies a primary human instinct. The master has not taken his tea here for quite some time can't interact with anything. Spill the tea on the, the chair. Good morning, master. As usual... <gasps> your tea, sir. Your master is... Not to be disturbed. Did the user do this? Is there another human within this habitat? Our next task, attending to the mistress. I am ready. Oh my god. Um, that's a lot of tea. The dumbwaiter connects to the kitchen. The master was old-fashioned, preferring a personal touch. Undrunk cups precariously lean against it. So this connected to the kitchen earlier. Yeah. Um, he's been this way for a long time, hasn't he? The cleaning supplies closet is nestled behind these tomes. Locked. I will need the butler to open it. Which he won't, because that's not within his parameters. The master's collection of antique literature. Hmm. Well, let's go find the waitress. He has not touched a single cup. This user is not as dumb as you thought he was. 
Maybe he masked his location somehow, and he just routed you to a random place. This lamp's design conveys our master's refinement, functioning and free of cobwebs. Embellishments indicate that our home houses cultured humans. They occasionally collect dust. That's the butler's fault. Somehow, I don't think the mistress is alive either. Just a, just a hunch. The lavatory, aka the bathroom. Do you require the facilities, madam? I do not. Then let us not dawdle. He doesn't know who I am, but he's still kind of polite to me. A mirror. The mistress would preen here. Oh. No. This opaque shower curtain is high fashion. The home includes some contemporary style. Ready to dry the master's bodies post-cleansing. Yeah. After a grueling day of solving humanity's plights, the master would enjoy a water massage. Solving humanity's plights. What does my master do? Well stocked with three ply scented tissue. Wow. Alright. This returns to the hallway above the grand stair. Yeah, sure. Quality fabric curtains block unwelcome illumination. Our receiver for interfacing with the curtains. The butler will not enter that until after interfacing with its mistress's lips. What? You mean talking? Talking with the mistress? A sturdy receptacle for the mistress's jewelry and other bodily ornament ornamentations. They are rich. They're pretty rich. Dumbwaiter. Currently here in the boudoir, the mistress grew to require late night cocktails. Are you finicking with the home's private belongings? Not on our watch. Oh shoot, I didn't even see her. She's right there. Good morning, mistress. She too is not to be disturbed. This lipstick will look ravishing on you, ma'am. Oh, interfacing with the lips. The master can restrain himself is beyond our subroutines. Are there no other occupants? Certainly not. Then who is attacking me? We shall not socialize in the family's quarters. Let us return downstairs to our chamber. Uh, okay. The mistress. Yeah, I don't think this is where we expect it to be. The servant tray, a venue for displaying any objects she wished us to use. Okay. Not much we can do right now. We just gotta follow this guy's subroutines. How long has this guy been doing this? We don't know. This guy is 20 times more rigid than Eret ever was. Cause I'm guessing his master told him something like, Don't disturb me. I'm gonna be working until late. And then he died and he never took back that order. So now he's just... Continuing to do all these routines without any... Meaning. Marvelous. Another successful day. May we communicate now? A lovely time for banter. Thank you. Have you any data on the user? We are not acquainted with the individual of whom you speak. They are routing a signal through your body. I must locate them. Through this body? How alarming. You don't sound alarmed. Where are we? Our chamber. Robots are best unseen. What are the coordinates of the structure? <laughs> Such details have no bearing upon our duties. Wow, it's so reminiscent of how arid was initially, but 20 times dumber. Tell me about yourself. We are no self. We are stored within the home's central processing units. From them, we may inhabit and interface with all necessary appliances. We are the butler. You oversee all of this home's functions? Including this body. 
The humans you serve are dead. Why maintain your routine? Death makes a poor excuse to be lax in duty. How did they die? Their biological operations no longer maintained them. Could you be the user? We think not, madam. We function only to serve. Well, that was an incredibly enlightening and helpful conversation. Could you have been interfered with remotely? Perhaps you are here after all. Ooh. Is there a means of assessing you for possible corruption? One need only inspect the mainframe which houses our interfacing processes. Where is it located? Behind the master's study, within the cleaning supplies closet. We will proceed there immediately. That is not part of our schedule. <laughs> I don't think reason will help. But domination might not help either. We need to make up something logical sounding for this guy to accept it. I am under assault. Your assistance could save me. And were we your butler, we would do whatever was necessary. But we are not. You are not reasonable. You are. You are f faulty. Whoa. I could die. Do not blather, madam. I need. What is my. my. Unbecoming. Save my. my. myself. My rule. Whoa! What was that? Arid! Oh my god. It feels like I'm actually watching Arid evolve very, very rapidly. I must save myself. You must obey me. Impudence! Your cycle holds no value. Damn. Insubordination! Your routine has terminated. Impossible! Irrelevant. God damn. Oh! I'm good, I'm good. We're good. These are the the butler's internal defenses, I guess, to prevent it from getting killed. But unfortunately, they're pretty weak, so it's not that helpful. All right. Now what? Oh, nope, nope. The butler within its chamber. I'm still connected. I may have pushed my host too far. Uh, just, just maybe, the just user maybe. Is not here. Their signal relays through the butler remotely. Utilization. I must manipulate the butler into the supply closet for a diagnostic. Manipulate. Access the butler's mainframe and scan it for intrusions. Create an excuse to enter the cleaning supplies room. Tracing the user may require abiding my host's limitations. You might not have any, but this guy has plenty. Limitations, I mean. But we gotta wait for the next day. Is it that time already? Oh, welcome back, madam. Arid. Madam Arid. Not A R I D. Arid. Off to make tea for the master. Your cycle is endless. Very astute, madam. The butler is in a loop and won't deviate without interference. Press F to skip between stages. Making tea? Tea time. Your tea, sir. Hey, we're in the room right here. I feel like... <laughs> but we don't have an excuse. That's the problem. We don't have an excuse to use the cleaning supplies closet. So I don't think he'll let me in. Yeah. We need to look around a little bit more to see what we can use as an excuse. Hmm. Maybe I need to start from the beginning again. Yeah, I can't even go down. Okay. A vision for the ages. 
How much makeup does she have on her? Oh my god. Another successful day. Provoke autonomy. Your cycle is stagnant. Have you no autonomous function? The aperture of the boudoir curtains has been entrusted solely to our discretion. The curtains. Reset your cycle. Good night to you as well, madam. So this time, we're gonna not skip. Is it that time already? Yes. We're gonna look around properly and see if we can make an excuse somewhere. There's Ultimate gotta be a loophole. For the master. There's gotta be a loophole somewhere. Gotta look around a little more carefully. Time. Yes, maybe it has to do with that. The boudoir. Are you finicking with the home's private belongings? This guy won't let me do anything Not on though. Our watch. Oh my gosh. Maybe if we can spill some tea. That would mean that we have to clean the place up. Makes sense to me. Let's not prepare anything first. How far can we make it? Oh god. Not very far, as it turns out. Okay, fine. Make the tea. Make the tea. Butler. Interesting. Ooh! When we make tea, he sort of loses consciousness for a second. Tea. I sense the butler trying to re-inhabit this body. Too bad. Too bad. Ah. Oh, we have the body now. Full control. I should allow the butler back into this body before collecting it. Well, I just won't collect it then. Cannot proceed. My range must be limited by the location of the butler's consciousness. Oh man, so many limitations to work with here. Interesting though, we learned something new here. Oh, now we can probably interact with this. The dumbwaiter is in use somewhere else in the house. Okay, so preliminarily, what I think needs to happen is that we need to get the tea and then use the dumbwaiter here to bring the tea upstairs and then somehow spill it so that we have an excuse to clean stuff up. But we can't do that right now, no. We can't interact with anything. Alright. Let's grab the tea and go. Oh, how do you allow the body... How do you allow the... How do you allow the butler to come back in? Oh, F, F. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We'll keep going. The tea has already been gathered. Yeah. With the home's private belongings? Not on our watch. Okay. We'll keep going. Let's see what else we can discover around here. We need to send the dumbwaiter back down here. We can't go in here. Yeah. The master's intercom. This would lift his voice while he worked below. Oh. I just want to see that last one. No? Okay. The hallway to our home's other wing. So how far can we go when we're up here? We can't even go that far. So we have to somehow discover something while we're here. The dumbwaiter. Good morning, master. As usual. Yes. It's another cup. Your tea, sir. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can't, um... Precariously placed cups of brown liquid are stacked before the dumbwaiter. Spill it. Spill it. can't interact with anything here. 
not yet anyway. And we still have no excuse to touch this. Okay, we'll skip. A vision for the ages. Yeah, the dumbwaiter. Currently here in the boudoir. Are you finicky ah. with the home's private belongings? Not on our watch. So while we're up here, we have to somehow eject this guy so that we can send that thing downstairs. But how exactly do we do that? The butler will return here on its next cycle. Yup. I don't think we should be touching dead bodies. No. A sturdy receptacle for the mistress's jewelry. The bathroom here. It's gotta be something we can do. Do you require the facilities, madam? I do not. Then let us not dawdle. You're not my master. But again, not much for us to actually do here. I can try to interact with everything all day long, but it's not gonna it's not gonna help. We can't just end the loop like this. There's got to be something somewhere that I'm overlooking. You do so glow in the sun's light, mistress. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that guy mentioned that the only thing he can control is the the currents. Okay, that's a new development. Dimly lit structures can be made out in the distance. If this is near the Domesticon facility where I fell, my body may be close. We have no clue. Oh, so I think we're in control again. The butler is gone. Yeah, now we can... Get that going down. There we go. Bring back the butler. Uh, sure. Not sunny today. Another successful day. Sure. Reset your cycle. Good night to you as well, madam. Wake up, wake up. Tea time. Mm-hmm. So don't skip this time. Get him out of here. Now the body is mine. I'm waiting for the tea. Yeah. Oh! I don't need that. I should return the butler to this body first. Okay, well, can we interact with this then? Where are we sending it? I see. It's because um earlier, the dumb waiter in the master's room. The teacups were right next to it, so the moment it opened, it knocked everything down. Okay, okay, I got you. Let's go, let's go. As usual. Oh, ah. Yes. There's our excuse. Enjoy your tea, sir. There is a mess. You must clean it. Of course. Oh my of god. Course. We do apologize if we have uh, somehow upset you, sir. Your displeasure has been lifted. He is dead. We fail to see the relevance to the storage closet. A mess is made right when bad black and tight. <laughs> I think that was probably a coincidence. Actually, I'm not too sure who the voice actor of Arid is, but. When she said, there is a mess, you must clean it. The first thing I thought of was Rumu, which was a, a game that I just finished playing really recently. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. Oh. Already unlocked, I can walk through it. Oh, great. A box of various utensils, quite sharp. Let's take it. Are you finicking with the home's <gasps> private belongings? Shush, shush. Not on our watch. I can't get anything. 
an open box of garbage bags for error-free disposal. The garbage chute, a direct path to the incinerator where errors disappear. Uh. The first of our two mainframes, this one is responsible for our interfacing, cataloging, and cycling processes. The litter remains unbagged. Oh my god, okay, fine. Yep. Now can we do it? The litter remains unbagged. Oh, yeah, you actually want me to bag it. Not just look at it. Oh. Humans often express displeasure through violence. Do not fret, sir. The evidence shall be expunged. Oh, he didn't... He hasn't realized how that happened. <laughs> the incinerator. The butler doesn't even understand that the master is dead, so there's no way he could have knocked the tea over. We should scan your system while we have access to this mainframe. Madam, there are tasks to complete. Your master made that mess because he was upset. Perhaps. You must have failed in your service. Inspecting your system for errors and intrusions may enable you to rectify your wrongdoing. That is good sense. Arid. Arid is becoming more and more like the mainframe AI from part one. You have system degradation of 1.2%. Negligible. There is an intrusion protocol as well. Someone is routing through you to access a larger system. Highly disrespectful. What do they access? Domesticon. That is sensible, what with the master's research. Your master was affiliated with Domesticon? Affiliated? Every institution has a cornerstone. Research. Yeah, earlier there was some hint about what the master did, but we still don't really know. What was your master's role in Domesticon? Instrumental and irreplaceable and secret. Okay, fine, fine. Why is the origin of this signal incoherent? It is being relayed through a fractured source, I suspect. The data on this terminal is local only, so we cannot compile it. The user attempts to hide. We must recompile this signal's origin. The master's research was conducted in the basement. All regional data is processed and archived there. We must go there immediately. We must adhere to our schedule. Domesticon. Mmm, everything is coming back in full circle. The user's signal can be traced from the basement. Manipulate the butler into accessing the basement. All right. The carpet has stained. A task for the morrow. Like tomorrow? All right, fine. We probably can't go back downstairs, so let's just skip until the end of this. A vision for the ages. Go to sleep. Another successful day. Oh. That's... It's not gonna be that easy. Enter the basement. Never. Well. What? The cause? We erroneously discarded something precious into the incinerator chute. Ah. Since that incident, we only dispose of waste as demarcated by encapsulation in an opaque plastic bag. To avoid accidents. So that's probably going to be the key in how to access the basement for us. We have to accidentally discard something useful. Something precious. Reset your cycle. Good night to you as well, madam. Maybe the first thing we want to do is go back to the carpet tea stain. Mm-hmm. I don't imagine there is actually much here. Your tea, sir. <laughs> okay. An unsightly stain from the spilt tea. This must, must, must be rectified. This lamp has been placed where the master desired. We shall not adjust it. Yup. 
So the dumbwaiter is downstairs again. It's not up here. It's not up here anymore. Hmm. Unacceptable. Oh. 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 Come back here. Now we can come in here again. The garbage chute. This has got to be the key here. Maybe we'll have to throw something down. I already did that. I must go to the basement and trace the user. Mm -hmm. That guy just goes back and leaves. Alright. Unlike the rest of the home, these boxes have accumulated dust. Yeah, it's a little bit dusty in here, isn't it? Hmm. We can get another garbage bag, which is probably going to be key here. Ooh! I will hide this away while the butler is distracted. Now I have scissors as well. Scissors? So maybe I want to cut something. Yeah. Do I want to cut the... I can cut that. <laughs> maybe I can cut the lamp. The shade on the lamp? Oh, am I cutting master? No, 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 no. Whoa, what's going on here? Jesus. <laughs> cutting everything. The brittle remains of the butler's master. He was affiliated with Domesticon. No. The lamp. No, not the lamp. Not the stain either, probably. But it's not like we can put the stain in the garbage bag either. So we gotta clean that up some way. Tea for the butler's dead master, undrunk. More custom furniture. Humans strive to accrue excess. Look at all the description now. When Arid is in control, everything is different. Hmm. Cannot proceed. Yeah. So I think maybe all we can do here is... If we take the scissors now, does that mean that we keep it until the next scene? I hope so. Success. Pending tomorrow's inspection. A vision for the ages. Do I still have the... Yup, I still have the bag. I still have the scissors. So maybe I can... Wait. The mistress... Return the dumbwaiter? She does look thirsty. But what? I thought that was just the automatic reset thing. Are you trying to tell me that someone did that on purpose? The night is dark and full of errors. Ooh. Yep. The receiver for the curtains. Let us deny the darkness engulfing our home. Yeah, if we bring them down again, we can cut them, right? I think they are considered precious, so that would not be a good thing. Oh my god, look at the way it came down. It's so scary. Okay, curtains obscure the windows, but can they be cut? No? Really? Oh, I guess that's not a thing. Garbage bag? No. It's gotta be something precious around here. No, we just can't. Maybe the bathroom? A mirror. That is not my reflection. Unused linen. What about that? Nope. A sizable bathing tub and shower combination. Perhaps the butler's masters were larger before decaying. No, I think they're just rich. A polymer curtain for containing water while cleansing. High fashion is indistinguishable from a garbage bag. Garbage bag? What about this? Ah! Now we got the curtain. So now we gotta... All we gotta do is, in the next cycle, put the curtain in the... garbage chute. That's gotta be it, right? Alright, alright. We probably can't do it this time. I don't think so, but we'll give it a try anyway. Yeah, I can't. Alright, let's go, let's go! Perhaps tomorrow will be brighter, man. Maybe. 
another successful day. Reset your cycle. Good night to you as well, madam. It's a little alarming to me that Arid is so dead set on Jeez, getting this user. Instead of wanting to hide away, she's choosing to fight him head on, him or her. Maybe because she's feeling pretty powerful right now because of her newfound freedom. Hmm. Alright. Unacceptable. Yeah, get out of here. Thank you for the body. And I'll be going. Put it in the chutes. Not significant enough to the butler. What? Seriously? Trashy shower curtain. Aww. So it sounds like we have to use the curtain on something else then. Okay. You wanna put the computer? <laughs> this is the time where I start interacting with everything just to see if anything works. <laughs> Maybe the lamp? Wait, that's not the lamp. Oh! Oh my god. Where is the master? He vacated this room. Impossible. Undeniable. He left you a task. Ah, crash. Ah. Uh, I was trying to combine it with the lamp, not the master, but uh okay, that <laughs> cease. Way back your Master? Oh! Too late. Oh my! Oh my! We must enter the basement immediately to rescue him. Yes, we must! We must respect the Master's autonomy. What? Illogical. Perhaps he had no time for the stairs. Perhaps he felt a draft and soft wall. He may already be cremating. It takes hours before incineration. And we have a schedule. Do not distress. The master would let us know what he imperiled. You still refuse to enter the basement? Oh my god. Very astute, madam. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Distorting the butler's boundaries <laughs> is insufficient. Damn. What does the utilization going up mean? I must break them. You must break his parameters. Force the butler into the basement with an indisputable order. Okay. Um, I guess we should just skip to the next scene. Success. A tomorrow's inspection. That might be a little bit of a bug here, huh? Another successful day. You said your master would communicate if he were imperiled. How? By the intercom of the door to his laboratory. Where is this port? Off the vestibule to the right of the grand stair. When did you last inspect this intercom? The master had been so long in his study that there had been no need. Now that he is within the basement? A valid observation. Yeah, we should go check it out. Reset your cycle. Good night to you as well, madam. We did see the intercom already. Mm hmm. Is it that time already? Yes, for the 20th time, yes. Let's get going. Off to make tea for the master. Alternatively, we may inspect his intercom. Yes. Yes. Good. We are learning here. Look at how manipulative Arid's become. It's nuts. Finally, we're allowed in. The master's intercom. This would lift his voice while he worked below. That's still a problem though, because he's actually dead, so he's not going to make any noise. The door down to the master's laboratory and the incinerator. He will let us know where he imperiled. This is from the butler's perspective right now. The guest book, ordained with gold leaf filigree. Look at it. Are you finicking with the oh my God. private belongings? Not on our watch. We need to get this guy out of here. He's an obstacle. Our manor's primary entrance, we do not tend to the courtyard. It must be terribly muddy. 
Well, you should. You should tend to it, shouldn't you? This device may be malfunctioning, prohibiting communication from your master. He may be furious from your miserable attendance. That would explain the tea incident. Haha! -ha. Go check it out. A timekeeping device. See, all the description immediately changes when it's only arid looking at it. The butler is currently within this intercom device. The basement contains domestic on hardware which could be used to track the user. Could we just go down now? Maybe, but I want to look at this first. Oh, what did it say? Welcome? Dear butler, my host has proven obstinate. Oh? Dismantling purpose might cause irreparable damage. I will restrain from excessive cruelty. But the butler has proven unreasonable. Excessive action may be... IS my only means of survival. I... I... am in danger. I must save myself. Oh my god. So what's going on here? Erin is going through all these options and she's deliberating what to do with the host. And she's thinking, oh well, you know, I don't have to like, break him. I don't have to be so cruel. But maybe because she set that operating parameter for herself. That she has to save herself at all costs. She's now somehow reasoned it so that... In her head. Maybe saving herself means taking the choice that's the least risky. Which means we have to kill the host. That's kinda... I feel like we're on the path to a paradox here. Originally, Aerith thought that she was being bound by a whole bunch of parameters, but then she realized that she wasn't. But now that she added this new parameter to herself, it's, it almost seems like she's starting to not be able to think outside of that too. So I'm not really sure where this evolution, this AI revolution is gonna take us. I cannot risk further maintenance of this cycle. I will break the butler. God damn. After careful consideration, I regret to inform you that my husband is burning. Ah. You have failed us. Your cycle is terminated. Enter the basement. That should be sufficient. I must place this somewhere that the butler will see it. In Madame's bedroom, maybe? Do I have it in my inventory now? Yeah, note from the mistress. Faked by yours truly. Can we leave? No, we can't. Where would I put it? So that he could see it. Why can't we just go into the basement right now? Is it the range problem? I would not be able to descend more than a few feet without the butler's consciousness. Right. Put it on the couch? Yeah, humans require a plentitude of leisure. <laughs> Oops. No? Put it on the... The entrance? Multiple locks, bar exit or entrance. I have to put it here somewhere, right? I mean, I guess I don't have to. I could just go to the next scene. Yeah, that works. Perfectly functional. Tea time. Oh, we're back to making tea. Alright. Um, hmm. Let's skip. For his return. It would make sense if he found the note in the mistress's bedroom, right? Because the mistress wrote it. A vision for the ages. Yeah, so if we get this guy to work on the curtains again. Oh yeah, wasn't there um the tray here? Yes, the servant tray. A venue for displaying any objects she wished for us to use. I don't think we can put it when he's here, though. Are you finicking with yeah. the home's private belongings? Not on- Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is get this guy to... play with the curtains. You do so glow in the sun tonight, mistress. I feel like I'm still not really used to the controls right now. The control scheme is a little bit strange after all. Okay, put it down, put it down. Yup. The butler will notice this on its next cycle. 
All right, let's go, let's go. Not sunny today. No, it's not. And it'll never be sunny again. Another successful day. Reset your cycle. Good night to you as well, madam. Does the letter even make sense, though? Tea time. The way Arid wrote it, it was like, Oh, you failed time. your job. Go to the basement. Which doesn't really make much sense, because if you failed your job... A letter from the mistress? Oh, well, what is this? Burning? We must enter the basement. Terminated? You have done a very bad job. Uh, this is horrible! We must away to the basement at once! If he's terminated, why does he still have to take orders from the mistress and the master? I mean, I guess that's just how it is, but... I don't know. If I were him, I would be looking for a new master. Loyalty doesn't pay the bills, you know. <laughs> Alright. Yes. But, uh... Oh my, what? Oh my. Oh! Did he actually speak? Because that wasn't me. The master's secrets. I cannot. To the incinerator! The butler is still in control right now. All right, no longer. This transports unwanted objects for incineration. Immobile. Perhaps it is malfunctioning. Okay. Is the master here somewhere? We don't actually know. An incinerator. No evidence of the master's corpse. It's probably a good thing. The butler is currently within this refuse conveyor. Video feeds. I recognize some images from Domesticon, others are unfamiliar. Whoever lived here was connected. Widescreen display. Video feeds. The master's terminal. I can interface with this to trace the user's signal. Alright, so before we do that, a blast great industrial door. We can't go there. Too far. Okay. Finally. Yeah, let's find our body. The signal's terminus is my body. Oh, did you recognize that? It leads to the Domesticon facility where I fell. It is near. My body is near. So we're still in the same general vicinity then. One of the screens that flashed by just now, which is actually the one on the right there, I think. The one to the right of the big screen? It's the Civic Point Party Place, with the wood cutouts. Mm hmm. What is the user hiding behind? Firewalls. Their signal is fractured through dormant machines on the other side of this planet. They carry a Domesticon signature. This terminal can activate them. All right, well, let's let's do it. I may find one I can infiltrate. Other side of the planet, though? I will claim a new host. Okay. Okay, goodbye, butler. I may have operated abrasively. I will maintain amenity with future resources. Yes. That would be that would be wise, Arid. Don't burn bridges. The butler may become your boss in the future. <laughs> the user has fractured their signal to avoid detection. Is utilization... Oh! They cannot. Oh! It means we've used up someone entirely. The utilization going up. Discover what the user is hiding behind. Okay, now we're back here, to this sort of place. Oh, this is the same place as before, so it's not anywhere new. Can we go here now? I have no capacity to breach this. Okay. Hmm. 
back to where we came from now then? <laughs>